So Burkitt's lymphoma, it's a highly aggressive B-cell, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. It's considered the fastest growing human tumor. Uh, there are three types, um, endemic variant, which we don't usually see here in the, you know, in the Western world, which is caused by uh, malaria and Epstein-Barr virus infections. And these commonly, these commonly affect the jaw, as, of, as well as the distal ileum and cecum, ovaries, kidneys, and breast. Uh, there's another type called the sporadic type, which is the common type we will see, or, or at least people scanning in, in the Western uh, countries. Uh, Non-Hodgkin's, it's uh, 30 to 50 percent happened in childhood, and the uh, ileocecal region is the most common area affected. And then there's also immunodeficiency associated, so people who have HIV or other immunocompromising diseases can develop Burkitt's lymphoma. So here we have a 14-year-old male. He came to the ER with you know, abdominal, uh, right lower quadrant pain. It was thought that he had maybe an appendicitis. We scanned him and we saw the appendix was very large. Here you have your blind ending, a very large appendix. But however, there was this mass-like structure posterior to it. So they're worried about maybe a rupture, but if you once we put Doppler in it, you see there's actual flow within it. So that's not fluid, that's an actual mass. And it was about almost 8 centimeters. Pathology confirmed that this was a Burkitt's lymphoma. Okay, so this is another case, and we had a patient sent for an appendix ultrasound. We found the appendix tip right here. So you see you got a long appendix here, tip is right here, normal. But as we got close to the cecum, it, it looked like it got larger with some, some mild hyperemia. And then here in the cecum, it looked like there may be a mass. And here is another view. So they thought that this case might also be a Burkitt's lymphoma, but when this patient went to surgery, they removed the appendix and they had to remove a piece of the cecum. However, it was a it was an appendiceal intussusception. So the, intussuscept the appendix intussuscepted into the cecum and got stuck, causing the, the congestion and abdominal pain. So that was a pretty uh, cool case. 